Hey friends, welcome to Flow with River. So today I would like to talk about Miracle, my next Miracle, which is another car accident. This one's um, probably my most favorite as far as divine intervention, like making an apparent uh, showing, if you will. I do, however, want to stop for a second and give my mom and dad a happy anniversary. It's their 54th wedding anniversary today. However, they got together when they were 15, so to, they've been together for 61 years. So, love you, mom and dad. Thanks for falling in love and having me so that I could enjoy this beautiful planet that we are upon. Thanks for being such a great parent. Love you both. So, oh, also, one more side caveat. Um, it is day three of my, my cleanse, and I am not gonna talk about that here, but I will post. I'm going to have another platform. I'll keep you posted, but I am taking videos to kind of show what's going on in my world. So I'll let you know when that's, where that is and when that's happening. So my next miracle story. So this story starts when I had a Mazda pickup truck. It was a little B2200, had a little extended cab, and I, um, hold on, running. All right. Hey. Okay, so I had a B2200 pickup truck and I was on my way over I was living in Spokane I was gonna go to the World Rhythm Festival which is over in Seattle happens at the Seattle Center it's just epic I don't think that they're still having it quite to the extent that they used to um, but it was just you know three days of free dance and drum and music and um, learning so dance classes performances drum classes uh, all sorts of instrument classes. It was amazing, just so much love in one area. So I drove myself over to that. Before I left, my um, my radio was broken. Um, so this is back in the 90s. And so I put my boom box um, in the car and kind of had it, you know, wedged up in between, it was a bench, kind of seat, I guess. And so I had it kind of propped up there. And uh, so I remember on the way over, um, yeah, I didn't really have anything to listen to. I think I stopped in Ritzville and got a, one of those listen to tapes, like a cassette tape, so I could have something to listen to. And so, okay, go to the Rhythm Festival, have a great time. And at the time I was dating someone and I really wanted to get home on Sunday in order to see him. And at that point, we we'd shot a lot of pool at the swamp, shout out to the swamp and Omar. Um, so I knew that he would be out later. And um, so I um, got in my car in Seattle and I started driving and I, <laughs> I was definitely, going, I, I sped, I was a speeder. I've only had one ticket ever in my life. So I always felt like I knew where I could get away with things, if you will. Um, but so around, it was about seven miles before Ritzville. So I think in Moses Lake, I stopped. I was starting to get tired and I bought those corn nuts, I don't even like them, but they're crunchy. So they kind of help keep your brain awake. And I had the windows down and the air conditioning blowing because I was tired. So, um, and I was drinking like, you know, caffeine, like iced tea and things like that. So I, um, it was about five miles outside of Ritzville. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna pull over and, I'm just gonna sleep. So, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, so unfortunately I did not make it those five miles. I fell asleep. Um, I fell asleep doing about 90 on Highway 90 heading west. And fortunately there was one of those 
in between the westbound traffic and the eastbound traffic, there was a big berm, um, cause otherwise I would have gone straight across and head on into the other lane. Um, but I fell asleep and my car had hit the berm and flipped upside down. So I, when I, what I awoke to was when my car flipped and hit. And so I, I woke up upside down. My windshield had split right across the top, like maybe three or four inches down from the top, like all the way across. And all I could see was sparks like flying through. So I just closed my eyes and I just, I remember it felt like I went forever. I remember having a thought of, please let me stop or let me just die. Like it was, it was so traumatic. Um, and so when I finally, when my car finally came to a stop, now remember this is at night, so it's pitch black. Um, I'm pretty late at night. I'd say maybe around 10 or 11. So let's go down this alley. So my car had flipped over, sparks were coming through the windshield at me. And when my car finally came to a pause, I was like, oh, thank God. I dropped my seatbelt, fell on my head again, um, rolled my window down and crawled out of my car and just laid there. Um, just, I was in so much shock and tired. <laughs> and um, I didn't realize that my car had ended up, my truck had ended up perpendicular in the middle of I-90. And because I had gone off the edge, I had torn up all of this dust. So not only is it night, but there's this big dust thing. And then there's my car right in the middle of Highway 90 with me laying in front of it. Um, so some cars come and they had to swerve off to the shoulder and they got me out <laughs> of the road. And I realized where my car was at that point. And uh, so I had to wait for the ambulance to come just because, well, first of all, I had no way else to move. Um, so they took me to the um, little hospital in Ritzville and I was, I had no injuries. I had no scratches, no whiplash, no nothing. Like amazing, thank you angels. And um, had to call my parents for them to come and pick me up from Ritzville, which has gotta be a terrifying call if you're a parent, you know, late night. And um, so we, when we went back to um, get all the stuff out of my car, the, it was a couple days later, we had to go to the junkyard because they had towed it there. Um, the passenger side was completely flat. If I would have had a passenger in my car with me, they would have been dead. The thing that saved my life was that boom box that I had, that I was listening to to try to keep me awake, had gotten wedged between my headrest and the ceiling. So that's why my car didn't just smash down on top of me. So shout out to all my angels. Oh, thank you so much. And um, yeah, I appreciate you being here for another rendition of miracles with the flow of the river and I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow. All right, have a great day. Bye.